Hey everyone, Mike with Mike Walton Consultant here again, and I wanted to bring you another quick video on this great piece of software that I kind of stumbled across the other day, and it's called VYOS, and it is essentially a virtual router. Um, it's a great piece of software. It's a very well-created software that's very Cisco-like, so if you've ever messed with Cisco routers or Cisco switches, then this is going to be right up your alley or know exactly what you're doing with it. But it is essentially a router on a stick. I mean, it's a ISO image, so you can literally boot right to it and have a quick makeshift router if you need it. Or you can actually install the router to a virtual hard drive and create a virtual router for your lab environment or even your production environment. What I'm going to do in this video is we're going to go through kind of downloading and installing this VYOS virtual router. And it's kind of preemptive so that the next video I create, which is going to be how to make your own isolated Hyper-V virtual lab, kind of a uh, next steps to my other video of how to create your own isolated uh, virtual box lab. This is going to be the first step for it. So stay tuned and we'll get right into the demo. Okay, so I'm here on my Hyper-V server uh, in my personal lab. And what I'm doing here is I'm on the VYOS website, and it's actually VYOS.net. Um, it's going to take you here to this main page, and it's very simple to get this software. All you need to do is look over here on the right-hand side, and under Downloads, you're going to see the, the mirror for the download. And if you click on that guy, it's going to give you a couple different options. I downloaded the VYOS 1.1.6 AMD64 ISO, and that's because I am running a 64-bit operating system and I want this to be 64-bit as well uh, and you can see it's 234 meg and as soon as you click this link it's gonna initiate the download now I've already downloaded this so we're just gonna get right into setting this guy up now it's very simple to set up so I'm going to minimize him and we're here on my Hyper-V lab so the first thing I want to do is I want to do a new virtual machine and I'm just gonna name this VYOS router because that's exactly what it's gonna be VYOS VYOS router. Perfect. And in this case, because I'm running 2012 R2, I get to choose between Generation 1 and Generation 2 VMs. Because this has basically a Linux backend, we're doing Generation 1. We're going to give it 512 because that's plenty of memory for it. And we're going to go ahead and connect it to my network. Do next and it doesn't need much we're gonna give it just because it's virtual um, and it's thinly provisioned we're gonna give it 50 gigs and we'll go next install operating system later we'll do next confirm all of our settings and click finish now this isn't isolated to, to just Hyper-V you can use this in VMware you can use this in VirtualBox you can use this in KVM you really can use this in almost any virtual environment so now that we've got this guy created, what we need to do is we need to add the ISO image that we downloaded earlier so that he has something to boot to. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click our DVD drive, we're going to choose our image file, and we're going to go to VYOS and choose the ISO image that we already had prior. So we'll go ahead and click apply, click OK, and now we're going to go ahead and boot this virtual machine up, click start and once start succeeds we'll just sit here and watch the screen excellent so we can go ahead and type let it boot the great thing about this is you can do a couple of different things with it you can literally have it be a router on a stick and you just boot the ISO image and there you have a router or you can actually do an install and have it be a router that doesn't boot from a USB stick or from an ISO image. So the default password here is VYOS, VYOS, and there we are. Now if we do install image, which is what I want to do, it's going to ask us if we want to actually install this onto the local hard drive. We don't have to do this, but I want to do this, so we're going to do yes. And it's going to sit here and go through the drives. It's going to look at partitioning. And most of this stuff is great because it's going to just automatically give you what you need. So in terms of partitioning, we want to do auto. So leave it set to that. We have one drive that was 50 gig here. And you can see it's the SDA drive. So we want to install the image on that. So we just go ahead and hit enter. And it's going to destroy all the data. We don't have any data on it. So we'll just go ahead and type yes. And 
how big of a root partition we want to use the whole thing. So we're just going to take the defaults there and now let it do its thing. And now I get to choose what I'd like to name this image. I can name it really whatever I want. I'm just going to name it Router. And now it's saying it found the following configuration files and which one should it copy. We're just going to use the default one, at least the one that it's selecting. And now we're going to choose our own password for VUIOS. So I'm just going to choose me a nice simple password. and we choose which drive we want to modify the boot partition. Again, this is completely the def default. We're going to let it go through and set up the grub. And now it's done. So now that it's done, what we want to do is go ahead and reboot this guy. Or actually, what I want to do is I want to shut him off. So just a simple power off command. He's going to power down, takes a couple of seconds just because it is a Linux kernel, it does have to power down properly. And now that this VYOS router is actually turned off, what I want to do next is close that window and we want to go into the settings and we want to go ahead and remove this ISO image. And go ahead and just remove that guy and we're going to start him back up. And what we should see is we should see this boot without an ISO image, and we should see just a perfect, ready-to-go virtual router. And there we have it. Now I can log in with VIOS and the password I set up earlier. correct password I set up earlier and we're now at a great prompt and this is very similar again to a Cisco uh, switch or router and that you know we can do a show command we can do a tab complete so we can type s we can type sh and hit tab and it's gonna well I guess if I'm at the right prompt if I do a sh tab it's gonna finish with a show if I do a question mark it's gonna show me all the additional options I have along with the show command. So I could do show date, and it's going to show me the date. So with all that being said, that is going to be it for this video. So if you enjoyed this, if you found some benefit at it, out of it, please uh, feel free to subscribe, and hopefully I'll get a lot more videos up for you. Um, otherwise, also, if this video was, was good for you, if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. It helps let me know what kind of material you guys want to watch um, so I can make more of it. I love making this video for you guys. So, um, And if you have any suggestions on other stuff, please leave me a message in the comments or just leave me a, um, a message any way you can get a hold of me on Twitter or, or Facebook. So just also stay tuned and I will have hopefully in the next week or so a video out on how to use this VYLS router that we just set up to create your own isolated virtual environment utilizing Hyper-V. Thanks for watching.